there's an identity that a lot of culturally people have. And I say it's important for us to have our culture, I think our identity, that is not created or told from someone else's point of view. And we, as black people, have ex accepted that for obvious reasons. We don't have to accept that anymore. We, we understand, and once you lean into your truth, um, and you discover your truth, I think it's important to share it. And my wife and I always talk about where we are in our relationship and the things that we, we love, and our, our children are truly the center of, of that on so many levels. And we're in, we're in legacy mode. And all of that is important from what they get in the home, the love, the compassion. They're gonna see all facets you know, they're gonna see us get upset. They're gonna see us be funny and silly and they're gonna see us be compassionate. But at the same time, what's important is the integrity and dignity that I've learned and that my wife has learned that we wanna pass on. In this society, you as a young black boy and how you're seen, you're gonna have great times, you're gonna have highs and lows. You're gonna have missteps. But understand, with your missteps come consequences. And your consequences are always going to be more severe than those who don't look like you. It is what it is. And we have seen that firsthand. So they understand. I'll say, don't let that define, don't let that reality stop you from being the best version of who you are and living up to your full potential or feeling like you're boxed and you can't do anything and you can't breathe. Just understand how it goes. If you get stopped, it's gonna be different for you than a kid who doesn't look like you. And it's not acceptable that I have to sit and talk to my son or any of my sons about taking the hood off at night. Name one white parent or family that tells their child, at nighttime, take that hood off. And just thinking about the, 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 how ridiculous that is, but it's true. Because you can be mistaken for a black male, not a black boy, not a black child, they say black male. A black male can mean he's 19, he's 25, he's 28. He could be a threat when he's only 13. Name one family, show one family that has to sit with their children and talk and have these conversations that are, that are, that are not black. 